they um, had this strong feeling that we were very close with them. We, that they looked at us, they looked at themselves possibly as maybe in a 51st state. AJ said he was closer to uh, Boston than Berlin. Um, I don't know if the American people actually know that though. Um, personally, I never thought of it that way beforehand. And when he was saying stuff like, you know, how close the two were, I was rather in some cases surprised by like their opinion on that. We visited the James Joyce Center to ask people their opinions on September 11th and the events that have followed. I suppose America is a microcosm of the world in that it has always been an escape uh, place and a place of succor for anyone who, who wants to get away from their own situations or maybe negative situations or positive situations, but America has always opened its arms to people. The initial shock, of course, people were devastated. Um, we are, in fact, I suppose, beginning to live with it. I think education is the most important thing. I mean, education and love, which is maybe a very hippy-trippy kind of thing to, to put forward. But I mean, it's been there since the very beginning of time. If you look at every conflict, you will obviously bring it back to poverty. And I mean, poor people are angry people, and angry people are violent people as well. Maureen wasn't as sympathetic as her co-workers. I don't think people were surprised. I really don't think they were. I know the Americans were really amazed. That's what we found quite extraordinary, that they never thought of anything like that happening, even though it already happened to the United Nations building, hadn't it? They tried that before. So they should have seen the writing on the wall then. And why do they have a place like the Pentagon? We were amazed at the size of it, and so many people working in there, and yet no one knew anything. It, I mean, what are all those people doing in there? It just was absolutely bizarre. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, like, uh, how can she say that? I mean, what, what do you mean? We, planes went into buildings. I don't know why they took it so badly. I, you know, it's not just me that thinks that. I think everyone thinks the same. You know, that was the thing that happened, and it's passed, and one has to go on, doesn't one? If it would've happened over here, and you'd see that hundreds of firefighters died, hundreds of mothers, fathers, grandparents, sons, daughters, I mean, they don't see what we see every day, and it's so hard to deal with here, but I mean, I guess she doesn't see it, but when your mind is filtered with those images over and over again, then maybe you feel a little differently. We're all part of history, and we're all part of it, and, uh, and I think, although this thing in America happened very well, I think the Americans should learn a lesson by it. Paul, a member of the Irish Army, accompanied us in Dublin. It was a terrible thing. Clearly, I was thinking of those people on the plane, people in the building, then the buildings came down, a terrible thing. On the other hand, I was thinking that it was fantastic from the, use the word terrorist point of view, from their point of view, it was a huge success. But America should do their best to influence the rest of the world. They're a strong, powerful country. But they should do it to help the little guy. Because if you don't help the little guy, and you treat him badly, the little guy is going to reach out and he's going to stick a knife in the guy. America prides itself on being a Christian country. Perhaps they should show that, demonstrate that Christianity and, uh, what did he say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I don't think America has what we would call over here the bottle to go ahead, the balls anymore to do these kind of things. Who wants their, their young men dying? Perhaps a sea change in the way America looks at other peoples, other countries, if they try to understand what was going on abroad and worry about less about the price of gas in his tank. Maybe you should ask, why is it so cheap? Uh, Paul was an interesting character. Um it was fun traveling with Paul. He had a lot to say about America. He thought that, you know, it all went back to money, that our government had oil interest, and that's why our oil is cheap, and that's why we, we want to keep fighting these wars. And I think not just Paul, but a lot of people in Ireland, that's the culture. They like to debate. They're very well informed with politics. Again, we wanted to speak with students, so we went to Trinity College one of the oldest universities in the world. Um, I didn't believe it at first, because I was in town, and um, people were just, everyone at work took their lunch break at the same time, went in where there was a television, and no one believed it, like it was, it was like a film, you know? Everyone was saying, no, that's not happening. And then people just, 
it was just quiet, like everything was quiet, people were just sat down and like some people, I don't know, just felt sick really, that was it. Uh, well I saw what had happened and so for the first, I'd say day after that I was just numb, I was just like, it was unreal, it was like, ah, oh, it was horrible to watch and horrible to think about. Well it was at school when I heard about it and people said, oh, planes have crashed into the Twin Towers and I didn't believe them at all. And when I actually heard it on the radio I thought somebody had had a tape in or something and I was totally shocked about it. I just thought it was totally disgraceful. America is a superpower, like no matter what they do, people always give them a hard time and I think it's a bit unfair, you know. Um, I reckon they're doing roughly the right thing. I think America, they kind of see America as a bit of like the godfather, you know, protecting, protector for all. I think it's terrible. Um, I, I think Bush was just pushed to do it. I mean, I think Bush is a complete fool, but um, I know a lot of people do and uh, I think he's a joke. Well, obviously you've got to do your job and protect us, protect yourself, so basically I think you're doing the right thing. I actually felt a little bit angry because I think the September 11th attacks, there was no warning, people didn't know what was going to happen. But when America said they were going to attack Afghanistan, the people had a warning. And then when they tried to get out of the country, the boundaries were closed and they were trapped in basically to die. But I think in Europe, it's more of a, we have more of a passive opinion and it obviously doesn't really affect us the way it affects Americans, but I think that the war is kind of it's kind of unnecessary now. No, I don't necessarily agree with this, but there's been talk in the media that um, September 11th was as a result of American foreign policy in the Middle East over the last 20 years, and I don't. They may. I. I'm of the opinion that they might not be helping the situation by, you, you know, pursuing the situation into the Middle East as a whole. Well, I think war on terrorism globally is a, a noble cause and a good idea, but. I don't know how informed the choices of which terrorists they're going to wage war on are by the genuine let's wipe this evil from the world which is a perfectly good idea or the sort of we have political and other other motives. I wasn't really too surprised at the college students opinion on the war in Afghanistan because um, being in college myself a lot of people are against war especially at a larger school such as Trinity down in Pitt and down in the larger schools in the area, I'm sure you'll get a more diverse group of people, a group of people who have different opinions. I think with a lot of college students, because we are educated, we're more likely to want to solve problems through learning and through discussion. So I wasn't surprised to hear a lot of them say that they didn't like war because nobody likes war. Nobody likes war. The students at Trinity led us to the Temple Bar area to taste the nightlife. We met the guys, the girls, and sampled the Guinness. To conclude our trip, we talked to people on the streets of Dublin. We are, um, or describe ourselves as a civilized world, and um, I don't know if you can say that um, fighting against um, people like the Taliban um, can be you know, justified as a civilized act. What has happened on September 11th has probably made them realise that, um, or made everybody realise that America isn't as uh, indestructible, I suppose, as what people previously thought. The trouble is that people, you know, warriors with arms in their in their fists don't really want to wait and think and debate because they figure it's time for action, and we'll talk about it later. As far as I can see, you're just going over there, bombing, 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 bombing. It's just doing anything, really. The information isn't readily available as it is back home. You know, if you look through the newspapers here, you know, you'll get a little excerpt. There's, there's not, there's not a, a hell of a lot. You just got to live every day. That, that's, that's just it. You cannot let other people impose this kind of threat on your life. You just have to accept that sooner or later you're going to die. Um, but, you know, it's not necessarily going to be tomorrow. So live your life fully. And don't, don't... Don't be bound by fear. The main thing I learned was that you have to talk to people. Communication is extremely key. You can't try to solve the world's problems based on the biases and the culture of one country alone. I guess I learned that, you know, for us, we're college students, this is our world now, and we have to start changing the way we live if we want, I mean, we are the next leaders of tomorrow, so maybe one of us is the next president of the United States, and we'll know 
you know, why, why people don't like us, why people hate us. In Europe, it was actually a wake-up call. Um, when the events of September 11th happened, you know, you think, who could do this? But now after talking to people over there, there's lots of people that would do that easily. They, they said that it was our fault. So I learned a lot, and I'm, I'm kind of scared what I learned.